Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. A um, couple of things before I get started. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Miss Trisha Fernandez. Um, I think that's the way you say your last name. I would pronounce it for Fernandez, but you say Fernandez. So whichever way you like it, girl. Shout out to you and thank you so much, so, so much for the shout out on your video. Um, you took the time to copy and paste all of our links on there to our channel. And I just think that that's amazing. That was such a lovely and thoughtful gesture. And um, yeah, that, that was, I give you a thumbs up. And for those of you guys who are um, just now tuning in to my channel, uh, if you look for Trisha Fernandes, it's uh, Trisha, just how it sounds, T-R-I-S-H. It's Trish, I'm sorry. Trish and then Fernandez. It's uh, F-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. Um, she does Dollar Tree hauls um, and she does uh, quite a few other different videos. Um, she does a few tags, just a little bit of everything, um, but she loves Dollar Tree hauls. She loves her Dollar Tree hauls just like we do and she's hilarious. Without even trying, she's hilarious. So go check out her videos. Moving on, this is a uh, hits and misses video. It's basically an empties with two parts. I'm not gonna be able to fit everything in one, but what I am gonna do is, um, on this part, this part one, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you um, the empties that I have that weren't good or bad. They just, you know, they were just products I used up and I don't feel any kind of way towards them. And then if I can fit in my uh, favorites, I'll do the favorites at the end of this. And then um, the uh, not so favorites and the products I regret buying on a separate video. We'll see how it turns out. Excuse me. Um, we'll see how it turns out. And so if I can stop blabbing, we can get into it. Okay. Uh, I've got a mix of everything. I've got household. I've got beauty. I've got... You name it, I got it. So, this these empties have been over, I'd say since maybe about June, middle of June, and they just kept piling up. I mean, they just kept piling up and piling up, and I said, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And even though my channel didn't start until August, um, yeah, I always, I, I had a vision of doing my empties video for a long time, so let's go. Okay, first product I have is um, this Scentsy, uh, wax bar and it's serene green for those of you who don't know who who don't know who who don't know what Cincy is it is a company that they make mm, it smells so good they make um, fragrance wax bars just like this and they you can see it comes with like it looks like the ones you get at Walmart um, but these are much better and they sell all kinds of different, just adorable um, warmers. And I mean, they they have all kinds of, um, just all kinds of fragrance, you know, sort of like a Bath and Body Works fragrance, but it's, to me, it's a little more on the mature side. You're not gonna get anything like, like Bath and Body Works, you know, they sometimes they cater to a different, a younger, um, a younger group and Scentsy is a little more mature but they have beautiful beautiful things their bars smell amazing I mean this is not one of my favorites but it smells good anyway so yeah I have a friend who sells this if you're in the Dallas area and would like to uh, know a little bit more about Scentsy or if you already know about Scentsy and just need a Scentsy lady I will definitely hook you up with my girl. Next thing I have is this Tresme Thermal Creations. We all know what this is. It's just the leave-in um, heat protector. And I have had this for the course of maybe like a year. Um, I didn't use very much on my hair. Every time I straightened my hair or curled it, I mean, I used very little and then I would comb through it and that would be just fine. Um, I liked it, but it didn't do anything impressive. I mean, I can tell that it protected my hair and it did make my hair soft and, you know, a little bit shiny, but it was anything impressive. Would I buy it again? Probably if it was on sale, I'd buy it. 
The next thing I have is this Forever Red from Bath & Body Works. This smells, while it does smell good, it is one of my favorite scents. However, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, like I put it on and I can't smell it, but I feel like I'm constantly having to apply it because I like to smell my perfume. I'm a perfume snob as well. And I like to smell my perfume. I like to smell myself. Um, you know, whatever perfume I'm wearing, I want to get compliments. I want people to compliment me. I want to walk by somebody and, you know, their heads turn because I smell that good. Um, not because I smell that bad, but because I smell that good. But, yeah, this smells really nice. It's really, really nice. And I purchased it when I when it first came out. But, um, I don't know, I just, I felt like it, I was constantly having to apply it. Uh, whereas my other perfumes and body sprays, you know, I could smell it on me. This I couldn't smell it on me. I haven't figured out that's a good or bad thing. So I would repurchase this. Just I think I would have to repurchase it during a sale because it is kind of pricey. So next thing I have is from Avon. It's the Advanced, Techs, Advanced Techniques Daily Shine, and it's a mirror shine spray pretty much what it says. You spray it on after you've styled your hair and it just kind of adds shine. Um, I almost put this in my um, products that I regret buying just because if you're not careful you can apply too much. It is very easy to apply too much of this and then it, your hair is like a frying pan. It's like, you know, grease. So, but I didn't. I decided to just, that I really like the product. Um, it wasn't, it's not one of my favorites, but I, I mean, I really liked it. It did what it said it was going to do, but there were a couple of times where I accidentally put too much and, you know, my hair was a grease ball all day. So, yeah, so I would buy it again if I had to. Next thing I have is this uh, Travel Size Paris Amour, and it's from Bath and Body Works. And I've had this for about. A year it took me about a year to finish it um, it smells good so, I mean, I'd buy it again every time I go to Bath and Body Works I buy um, different scents so I don't buy like a bunch of the same ones I pr I'm pretty sure that that's how everybody does it so yeah I would include this um, in you know one of my hauls at Bath and Body Works definitely is it my favorite no but I definitely buy it again the next is from Caress uh, it's body, I'm sorry, it's a body wash, it's Emerald Rush, and it's Lush Gardenia and White Tea Essence. Now this is part of their summer scents or spring scents, I think, and I mean the smell was okay. It, it didn't gravitate towards, I mean, yeah, it didn't, I didn't gravitate towards it, sorry. It's okay, it's a fresh scent, it's nice, but I think that they really caress really impressed me with their I'm gonna call them fall scents or, or darker scents because there is the um, I can't even think of the names of them now um, I think it's called passionate spell and then there's another one called I don't know but it's a very pretty like a brown color with shimmers in it and then there's another one they made that smells really good but to me those were fall scents or winter scents and they were a little bit more musky than the summer line so I tried those first and I love 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 those I have repurchased those over and over and I have some in my stash I'm just kind of waiting till late maybe late early October ish to start using them because I do consider them fall scents but yeah I bought this on a whim at Family Dollar it was on sale and just wasn't my favorite I didn't Mm. I like the way it smells. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I, I honestly don't know. Um, next thing I have is was for my daughter. This is the L'Oreal Kids Tangle Tamer for wet or dry hair. <clears throat> wet or dry hair. Sorry. And it's for all hair types. And it says it's a burst of sweet pear. Now, here's the controversy on this, guys. 
me and my husband have this dumb inside joke that, okay, when I bought this, I bought it on clearance at CVS, I think, and it was like a dollar. It was, it was really, really cheap. And then when my husband sprayed it on my daughter's hair, he was going to brush her hair and he sprayed it on her. He's like, oh my God, it smells like whiskey. And I thought, whiskey? It doesn't smell like whiskey. But then, it's kind of like when I smelled it, I smelled pear in the beginning. And then when he said it smelled like whiskey, every single time I put it on my daughter's hair, I thought of whiskey. Every single time. And now I can't get it out of my head. Like, now that I smell it, I'm like, oh, it smells like whiskey. I don't want to use it. So I kind of just, uh, there's a little bit left in there. I kind of just uh, used it up for the sake of not wasting um, I don't regret buying it. It wasn't a bad product. It did work. Um, I just don't think I'd buy it again. So, Plus, it was on clearance. I don't think I'd pay full price for it. Okay. Next thing I have, I bought it Ulta. This was actually in one of my Ulta hauls, and I've already used up one. It was this... Uh, I can't see. It was a, a nail polish remover, and it's by Ulta. I used this up... Oh, it's by OPI, I'm sorry. OPI, which is, I don't know, it's OPI. Um, I used this up in like one and a half uses. And I really liked it. I mean, it didn't, it wasn't anything impressive, but I liked it. It took off my nail polish and it, sm it smells not bad. I mean, it smells like nail polish remover. Would I buy it again? Um, if the full size is at a reasonable price, yes. Would I buy these again at this price? Probably not. Um, just wanted to try it, so. Okay, let me see if I have time. I don't think I have time to start on my favorites, so what I'm gonna do is link that in a, into another video. So there is gonna be a part two, so you guys stay tuned. Again, part two will be my favorites and also the products that I didn't get along with very well. So stay tuned, you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again.